And switching from gas to electric could drastically clean up Salt Lake City's air, but it also comes with a huge challenge and a hefty cost. New Special's Katya Stepovic now explains. Building electrification has become a hot topic in the construction world in recent years. That's because it has the ability to significantly reduce that gunk that we all dread during inversion season. Our building sector in particular, that's an important sector in terms of contributing to emissions as well as uh, our energy demand. And so by electrifying our buildings, uh, that's going to present a big opportunity for us to meet our climate goals. A recent report estimated that from the Salt Lake metro area alone, over 3 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions will come from new residential buildings if developers continue to use gas instead of electricity over the next 10 years. To build all electric, it's actually uh, at parity, or in some cases, more economical than in a conventional uh, building scenario. So if it is cheaper and means cleaner air for us, why aren't policies in place to require electrification on buildings? We adopt building codes at the state level, so Salt Lake City doesn't uh, dictate how building codes are met. The state of Utah prevents gas bans, but Salt Lake City requires that any new property the city owns or builds or even invests in has to be electric. There's a lot of residential uh, construction happening, and when you build a building, it's going to last for 30, 50, maybe even more uh, number of years. And so if we can build it right now, then that means we're eliminating 30 or 50 years worth of additional contributions to poor air quality. The next big challenge, empowering residents to switch over existing homes to all electric efficient technology. Katia Stepovic, KSL 5 News.